Okay, so this is my vintage, uh, was it wardrobe they call it? Anyway, so I started this three weeks ago at the start of the year as a part of my new resolution to clear out my wardrobe and this is my vintage profile. Um, doing pretty well, five star. I think one um, thing here which was like some Nike Storm fit jacket that I sold, the, the person said yeah, it wasn't quite a perfect fit. I mean, come on, I sent it out to you literally the day it was paid. And uh, yeah, anyway, so this is the profile here. Uh, this is vintage, uh, and this is the collection of stuff that I've posted. So it's an amalgamation of stuff that I've, let's just say, for the past two and plus decades that I've sort of collected, you can say, I've acquired. Um, some of the things I've just casually been like, let's just say, a lot of times in the past I was pressurizing to buy something because when you're out in there, and you want to just you 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 go to a mall you're with friends or maybe at the time with someone else and you just want to flex a bit and sometimes you end up just peer pressured into buying something which is annoying uh, and then you never wear it and it just sits in your wardrobe for years and years and years so there's a lot of stuff on here from jackets from shoes from literally everything from across the and then sometimes it's like like for example like I would never wear Giuseppe's normally but again I bought I've got like a few pairs of Giuseppe's that I bought and I wore and then I said well I don't know I, I've seen other people I don't know what it is something about me if I see other people wear the same sort of stuff as me I don't like those people I don't like the flipping brand that they wear as either, and it puts me off the brand completely again I would never in my wildest dreams wear anything hood rich I'm just not part of that crowd just not something I would wear um, so there's a lot of stuff on here there's stuff that I've purchased that I thought Hell, that's a freaking great deal. And again, I have purchased stuff as well. There's kids clothes on here as well because I do have two kids. And again, you end up, as a parent, you end up buying something for future years, like five. They're like three, to, they're three and four right now. But you end up buying clothes for five, six, seven, eight. You know, you, and you know what? Think to yourself, you just sell them now. You know, you always get more. But yeah, loads of shoes, tons of shoes. I've always been in the shoe game, so I've always been like a sneakerhead. Um, buying and selling shoes all the time but I, again this is purely to declutter up my wardrobe jackets take up a lot of space so again a lot of those jackets are up for sale and then and, and then just things that basically I've bought and I said you know what why the hell why the hell we're holding on to it so the app itself is pretty good uh, everything's been working pretty well um, so you sell for example if you pop the item for 30 pound you will get 30 pound it's more sort of seller I would say uh, orientated way basically it's focused towards the seller so the, the price that you listed for is the price that you're going to get. Uh, so hypothetically, if I click on an item, say for example, I click on this thing here, uh, this is how they make the money. So basically, the £2.20 they add to it is the buyer protection. So that's the, basically, that's the fees that Vinted get. And then basically, you pay for postage. So it's not bad for the postage, £2.49, where you're basically getting a parcel, tracked for parcels. So it's not bad. So if you was an everyday person uh, going out on, say for hypothetically, if I factory with eBay so if you go through eBay uh, you buy um, a pair of shoes and if you go out there to turn, try and post the shoes back again you're gonna have to pay to post the shoes and then hypothetically as well the good thing I like about vintage is that in the past uh, on eBay I've sold something on eBay um, especially clothing I'm just just related to clothing because I still do do a bit of eBay but yeah uh, you sell a, a piece of item and then the item person asks for a return you're going out of your way not only to pay to send it out out of your own pocket and then you're paying to receive it back as well so ebay will charge you for the label whereas this is more where basically the if the buyer doesn't like it they're sending it back they're paying for the label it's on them okay um so uh, unless you falsely advertise something then obviously it's only fitting that you would then have to uh, buy a label for them but if you haven't if they just change their mind again they're buying the label and sending it back to you yeah so anyway this is the profile uh, so far so good i've racked up quite a few sales there was loads more i can quite easily fill up this entire with this 310 items currently listed on here uh if you guys want to go check out my stuff you can go check out my stuff by all means um and uh let's have a look my total items 357 items so 310 left so i've sold around sort of 47 items so which is not bad so far i've got like 18 followers i'm not following anyone i'm not actually looking to buy any more clothes than i already have I have I recently bought a couple of little bits here and there, but again nothing too big, uh, so I'm not going uh, splurging, going to like malls and stuff and buying stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is vintage. So far so good. Uh, what more can I say? Better than way better than eBay. Um, 
for clothing. I haven't tried the other stuff, so there is other things like um, entertainment. So again, video games. I've got, I've got loads of video games I could put on here, but again, this is more sort. Of, it's just the adverts. Everything is more towards clothing. So I'm not sure if that's gonna basically be a thing. Uh, games and puzzles. Again, I could quite easily fill up these sections with music, video, books. There's just so much, and then we've got pet care and stuff as well. I might check out all the other stuff as well, but you know what? I'll just stick with the the, the niche, which is just clothing. Anyway, so far so good. Um, I would say I'm enjoying the app. Uh, let's talk about the app. I have uh, in the app there is uh, sections that you can go to. I'm, quite, I'm not sure if you can sign on here. Can I take a login? Let me log in first. Okay, so I'm now signed into the thing. Um, I wasn't signed in before, but yeah. Um, oh, I had a few more. Um, so again. I'm now signing it. So what you could do, uh, two things, you can create collections. Uh, you can bump items. Bump items, I think it's like a power item. So you can add these things for a bump. Basically, it's like you just highlight the section so you can do things. You can spotlight your wardrobe. So I have done this. They gave me a little promotional offer where it was like a couple of pounds to just spotlight something. And I have spotlighted it. I think you get more sort of attention that's gained. And then you can create collections, uh, have discounts and stuff. So I haven't messed around too much with that. But you can do that as well. To get yourself um, maybe um, uh, more, I don't know, views, clicks, whatever the case may be. The app itself, it's not bad. Uh, to to pop an item, I mean, it can take less than it takes less than a minute. To, it does not take time uh, unless you basically want to sit there and think about it. But I don't have to think about it. I can quite easily just type up whatever it is and put something in the description. And that's basically it. The app does have uh, it's got a little ad at the bottom. I see if you want to see, you've got some. Uh, or banner ads you know advertising some random thing anyway uh, but yeah everything seems fine so far this is my little journey uh, that's a little review about how everything's going and um, how's it been for the past couple of weeks um, so yeah uh, if you like this video uh, like like uh, like subscribe if you have any questions uh, if you have any tips um, let me know your uh, journey let me see um, let me know how's it going on a minute uh, is it better now or is it better before I mean, I should have joined this thing ages ago. I just wasn't sure. It seemed like there's so many different apps online that are geared towards like being the eBay alternative or something. But I don't really know. Um, you know, is it is it worth putting all that focus into this uh, these apps and stuff as well? Uh, a lot of times, I feel that you know, I, I if I if I jump in and invest so much time listing something on a random app. And then for me to get no views, no attention, it's just going to be a waste of time. But yeah, this has been okay. This has been fulfilling. And yeah, this has been nice. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.